Today was Aaron Day. We just got back from Sam's Club. And it looks like Rogue is getting close to going into labor. Bonnie. I'm sorry. It looks like <laughs> Bonnie is going into labor. Bonnie looks a lot like Rogue. Um, so we're going to hang out here and see what happens, Wendy? Yep. All right. I'll go get some straw so there's a little more comfort bedding here for the, for the goat. You silly girl. The meat store in the greenhouse in Lockwood. But now I'm going to have to sit here. <laughs> it's now, okay. Tell, tell us the signs that you think that she's getting close. Well, she's got blood drool off her back end. That's All an right. obvious sign All that right. she's isolated. She wasn't with the herd, so yeah. That was the first sign. The rest of the herd was actually out in her front yard. We need to get better goat fences. And... Rogue was just not with them, which is very unusual. It's Bonnie. I'm sorry, Bonnie. I keep saying the wrong one. Bonnie just wasn't with the herd, which shouldn't happen. And she's making the face. It's okay. Yeah. For a while and see if she's fast. And if she's not, then we'll go upstairs up to the house and have some dinner. And then we'll come back later. Wendy also brought the radio up here for storm alerts. Evidently, we've got a tornado warning. Watch. Tornado watch. There's a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not going to get a tornado. But it wouldn't be uh, out of the ordinary for our goats to give birth in a storm. That has happened before. Yeah, Ryan can link it somewhere. Valkyrie decided to give birth the first time in a plastic shelter because a tree fell in our barn during an ice storm. Goats are fantastic. <laughs> Is it snack time for puppy? Time for puppy. Get it, girls. There you go. <laughs> Wendy's on our way up here right now. We went back into the house for dinner. Didn't have a chance to eat yet. And Bonnie started hollering, so the baby is being born. Oh, hello, little baby. Welcome to the world. Oh, and there's another one. Let's get you out of the sack. There you go. Two little goats. Yep. Daddy babies. <laughs> Can you block that? Thing? Yeah, yeah. They are little. That's how little they are. She just got up and she was kind of laying on them. I had to pull the sack off of the one on the left. So we could that one, so we could get out. Bonnie was kind of laying on this one. So. It's okay. It's okay. Arrows, settle down. Yeah, it's okay. Arrow, stop that.
a squirmer. So two babies. We're not quite sure what she's done yet. Probably is. Usually our goats have two, two kids each. One of the little goats really isn't standing up yet. We're a little worried about, about the goat. It's okay, Eros. Yes. I'm afraid Bonnie was kind of sitting on that goat when I got here. So it, there may be a problem. Kid syndrome instead of the rogue set or bomb set on her. Baking soda to neutralize her stomach. Baking soda for the baby and molasses water for rogue. Try again. Stand her up again. <laughs> There's not really a whole lot we can do if the baby won't survive on its own. It's up it's up to the little goat. The night that Bonnie chose to give birth is the first real Midwest storm that I've seen out here. Incredible wind and lightning. I don't think we're actually facing any kind of real tornado threat, but there, 
There is a tornado watch. It's something. It's the next day. And this is the little baby goat that was thriving yesterday. Still doing really well. Other goats are a little rowdy back there. I wish I could say there was better news on that other goat that was struggling. We don't want to show that goat kid on camera right now. We have been trying to hand feed with a bottle and some colostrum. But so far, that little baby goat isn't, just isn't eating very much. Still won't stand. So we'll have to, we'll have to see how it goes. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I know it's all right. It's all right. Yes. It's all right. Anyway, we're not experts. We're, we're learning, we're trying new things. We're doing the best we can. I brought the bottle up here to try again. I'm not gonna do that on camera though. So just wish the best for us. Tell everybody the new name. This is Maple. We'll hold her up so everybody can see her colors. She's pretty. She's got lots of little white spots. And her face is just adorable. Yeah. Just a little bit of a pink nose. It's yeah. hard to tell when they're really little, but uh, I think this one's going to turn out to be a pretty friendly goat. She's a sweetie. Thank you. I'm going to give him a snuggle bear. No maple face. Because I was really busy, and it was winter and there were cold snaps and I had to move them from the horse trailer into here and back and forth and that I couldn't keep the hay in the horse trailer for a while because I had goats in it and so I had to put hay all the way down in the tractor barn and so that was a big haul every morning and yeah and I was painting and there was just a lot going on while you were gone Brian. So now you get your bonding time. Yeah. Yep, I got almost two quarts of milk from the other mamas this morning. That's a good improvement. Mm-hmm. Yep. She's got like a little bald spot on the top of her head. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, she my baby. Are you going to come see me, Gretels? Usually you're up in my lap if I'm sitting here. See what you gotta do. You gotta teach them to like all these scratches and that's their treat for coming to see you. It's better than even goat food. Yeah, this is a lady who gives you not only goat food, but scratches. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. The scratches are the start of it. Scratches in the sunshine. Yeah. Okay, I had to do one last shot here to show the difference between uh, little Gretel or Gunda and Maple. Maple was just born a few days ago. So... Gretel is still a little goat, but a lot bigger than little maple. Don't worry, it's still 
show your lap. Yes, you still get snuggles. We're grateful to have our new little doe. Her brother didn't make it. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.